Every 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour, quarter of an hour all day long. Every 15 minutes is a quarter of, or a quarter of an hour all day long. So today we're going to talk about a quarter of an hour. And I want to make sure that I clarify something because in the past I realized a lot of times students thought that the minute hand had to be on the five because that's where the 25 is. A quarter of an hour is actually dividing something into four parts. And if you know with quarters, you go 25, 50, 75, a dollar, there are four quarters in a dollar. So I'm going to show you on the clock if I drew my line halfway, do you remember half past the hour when the long hand's on six? Okay, because that's halfway around. But on a clock, when you have four parts that are equal, a quarter past is actually at the three, which is 15 minutes. So, if I were to put my clock at the nine, here's my hour hand, here's my minute hand, this one is nine o'clock. And if I go five, 10, 15, this is 15 minutes after nine, or what they said as, oh, my marker stuck this morning, nine, 15, which is a quarter past, a quarter past the hour. If you noticed on my hour hand, it's just a little bit after the nine. Now, when I go 20, 25, 30, here I am at half past, and my hour hand would be between the nine and the 10, but remember, it's past the nine, so when this hand is down here, it's not 9.15. This time it would be 9.30 or half past the hour of 9. Now if I go up here to the 9, there are a couple of ways people say this. They say a quarter to 10 because in 15 more minutes or a fourth of the way, you're gonna be at 10 o'clock. But the other way you can say this is nine, and then count by your fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So that time would be nine, 45. And do you remember the little poem I said with you? Look for the short hand, what's it past? Look for the long hand, count by fives and make it fast. Let's go ahead and do that with the times we talked about earlier. Now, let's go ahead and this time have it the short hand on the 11. If the long hand's on 12, this says 11 o'clock, right? And when we wrote it, it would be 11 o'clock. Now, I'm gonna move this just a little bit past the 11, and I'm gonna do my long minute hand on the three, and let's do that little poem. Look for the short hand, what's it past? Past the 11. Look for the long hand, count by fives and make it fast. Five, 10, 15. There's your 11, 15. Remember that's a quarter past 11 because you're a fourth of the way around the clock. Now, when we come down here, I'm at half past, it's between the 11 and 12. It's after the 11, so my 11's gonna stay. But now let's go ahead and do our little poem. 
Look for the short hand, what's it past? 11. Look for the long hand, count by fives and make it fast. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this would be 11, 30. I'm gonna move it till the quarter two. And this is where it gets a little tricky because it won't be long now and it's gonna be 12 o'clock. But you can't put 12 here, it's still after 11. It hasn't gotten to the 12 and it won't until that minute hand gets up here for o'clock again. So look for the short hand, what's it past 11? Look for the long hand, count by fives and make it fast. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 11, 45. And some people say a quarter till 12. Hope you understood about a quarter of an hour. There's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, and we're back to the top. Different than 25, 50, 75, a dollar. Four quarters in a dollar, four quarters in an hour. See you soon.